Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at a big thing in a very small package. The FX Pocket Chronograph. Announced at EWA 2019 in Germany, the FX Pocket Chronograph is finally here. Very excited about this little guy. Probably my favorite announcement of the 20 new items FX announced at EWA. This thing has a lot of potential at a $200 price point, and that's one of the reasons I'm very excited about it. Now, because I'm very excited about it, you guys need to also be excited about it. Go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and comment and let us know what you think about this little unit. Number two, at $200, this guy is very competitive in the market right now. Uh, comes in right around the price of a lot of traditional light-bound chronographs that we're used to using here, and also comes in way under many of the other Doppler radar chronographs that are already out there. The big difference here is number three, the size. This thing can fit in your back pocket and is ready to go anywhere you and your cell phone or your smart device are ready to go to. And that brings us to point number four that I really like about this, and that is it is a Bluetooth-enabled device, meaning you're going to connect this to your smartphone or you're going to connect it to your uh, tablet, something like that, either Android or iPhone's fine, uh, and this is going to go anywhere with you and bring those results right to you wherever you're shooting. Now let's talk a little bit about the Doppler system that this uses. Uh, basically guys, at its core, this creates a six inch high and an eight inch long kind of window or box, whatever you want to call it, that is bouncing a microwave signal off of it and off of your projectile. So it's going to send out that microwave signal as you go ahead and shoot and it's going to bounce it off that pellet and basically the rate of return is what's going to determine your velocity. So first things first, to get the app set up, of course you're going to have to download it. You head over to the Google Play Store or the App Store for those Apple users out there like myself. Uh, you go ahead and download the FX Radar app. Very easy to do. Once you hop on the app, it'll give you kind of a quick start guide and then it's going to give you these options. Now you can create profiles for your guns if you want to or we can use these kind of generically set up profiles here. We're going to go out to the range and use an FX Dreamline to start things off. So we're going to go ahead and click on that air gun high power. Now at the same time, we're going to go ahead and turn on our unit just by holding down that button and you guys will notice that power button flashes at us. Now the app will tell you when it's found a device to pair to. You just have to click that connect button to go ahead and connect and then you're good to go. It's got all of your information kind of heads up on this display here and all you have to do is head out to the range and go shoot. So that's what we're gonna go do. So we're out here at our chronograph station. We're getting ready to do some comparisons. First up, we're gonna go ahead and take this FX Dreamline. We're gonna go ahead and compare it uh, with the same shots over the FX chronograph and our normal shooting chrony alpha that we use for all the videos here on the Insider. Then we're gonna take a big bore. Uh, a lot of you guys may not know that the gas dispelled from a big bore or CO2 gun, for example, can mess with a uh, traditional light bound chronograph. So we're gonna see if that's the case here uh, with the FX chronograph as well, compare those results. And then, cause I don't know if it's gonna be able to do it, we're gonna throw an air bolt into our dragon claw and see if it'll pick that up as well. Here we go. All right, guys, so looking over our results here, um, we're only a couple feet per second off at most. Uh, and obviously the Dreamline's a very consistent gun being regulated. So I'm gonna say that that comparison, right? If you get this set up right, the Pocket Chrony set up right, it is very consistent to a traditional light bound chronograph. Now, one thing we have noticed is the height above the chronograph does certainly play a part in that accuracy. If you do have it a little higher within that six inch range, you're probably gonna get slower readings. That's what we've seen and the distance, so where that muzzle is in relation to the chronograph is very important. You wanna make sure that's consistent as you're shooting. You don't wanna be moving as you go, all right? So that's really important. Once you get it set up, make sure it stays where it's at and that'll keep it working just fine. But so far, so good and very consistent results between the FX Chrono and a regular one. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that there's a big discrepancy in our first two shots here between our FX Pocket Chrono and our Shooting Chrony. Reason for that, that muzzle blast is actually contaminating our first sky screen reading. But by moving the gun back a bit, we actually get a truer result and that 100 feet per second difference disappears. 
And for those of you, whether you're firing an air bolt, an FX arrow gun, uh, any other arrow projecting device, uh, bow, crossbow, or an airsoft gun, you just click on that bow airsoft setting and it's gonna work just fine for you. Highlighting the major difference here between a standard light bound chronograph and the FX pocket chrono, you're watching it run in the dark. This is awesome and exactly what the big advantage is in my mind of this FX pocket chronograph. Uh, whereas you need to purchase a light kit or have special lighting around for the shooting chrono or a pro chrono, the FX pocket chronograph runs right out of the box with no extras to purchase. All right, so the FX Pocket Chronograph, this thing works very well. I'm actually really impressed with this. I was a little unsure at first. The more I've used it though, the more it has kind of affirmed uh, my sense of its accuracy, especially when you compare it to whatever your standard chronograph of choice is. This thing's gonna be pretty darn close. And of course, there's always some variance between chronographs. I'm very excited to see what FX does with the app in particular, because I think it's got a lot of potential application down the road. The potential to have all of your ballistic data in your phone have it set up with a profile to a specific gun setup with the scope height and all that stuff already plugged in to spit out a trajectory profile, kind of like Hawk Chair Gun used to. Uh, that is huge. This is going to all come from one place. You can update that ballistic profile in real time while shooting over the chronograph. I think that is huge, epic, awesome. That's really where the future of this lies, and I believe that's where FX is going with this. So definitely check out the pocket chronograph, whether you're in search of a chronograph or you need something more portable and more user-friendly in more circumstances. This is a great opportunity, and when you compare it with the cost of a lot of chronographs that are out there, not bad at all. One to check out when you're on PyramidAir.com, guys. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you at the next one.